Hey guys, we're here in Plant City, Florida, just east of Tampa, and we're here for the Strawberry Festival. They've got lots of rides, shows, and food. Come join us. Let's go. There's a strawberry ride, just like the dragon ride you just saw. And a bunch of rides in the background, and there's many more all around us. I don't think I'll be participating in any of the rides. It's a beautiful day today, nice and sunny. And they have a display here of how they actually grow the strawberries here in Florida. And for all you tractor fans out there, here's an old International, and an old John Deere, and another old John Deere, and another old John Deere, and another old International tractor on the end of this row. For some of our international viewers, this is actually a Native American booth. They got all kinds of trinkets like wind catchers and arrow necklaces and some pottery and stuff. The music this gentleman's playing is so soothing, so calming. I should have asked him what type of instrument, it's some kind of flute. But if you look at how he's playing it, I believe there's a hole under his lip and he's blowing through that hole. Oh gosh, I'm so embarrassed about this, but yes, I was lost and she came here to pick me up at the lost and found. Inside the building here, there's lots of little booths with all kinds of stuff for sale. Mostly strawberry stuff. Wish I can kick back and relax too. Take a nap. But no, I gotta go shopping for some of these nice strawberry chandeliers. Oh Lord. She wants to stop at every booth she can just to see what she can buy. She's a spender. Look at the little piggy. Now she's shopping for food. I guess she really is a little piggy. Fried avocado, mushrooms, green tomatoes, onion rings. Then we've got all kinds of french fry stuff over here. Oh, gee, no, no. 
trying to decide whether to buy this hairband. She's getting a little demonstration from the salesperson. Here's the first show we're gonna show you. And it's a lumberjack show. They're going to be competing with each other to see who's the fastest in sawing and even the log roll. We're keeping our masks on. About 50% of the people don't have them on. We say better safe than sorry. carved a little kid's chair, a chainsaw, and then he even gave it away to a kid. Good job, mister. Here's a purple and white cow. I guess we can call that color Whirple. And this food vendor here serves fried alligator. Yummy! She doesn't know she has a gator behind her. Rawr! Here's the next show we're gonna watch. This is really funny, we've been looking forward to this. It's racing pigs. And they're also gonna race while they swim in a small pool. Oh, folks, you couldn't hear her laughing. She was laughing a lot. This was actually very enjoyable. We enjoyed watching this. Very cool. Let's go to the next event. Well, here's the next event. She's looking for food. This one here is uh, donut burgers. Donut bun. She settled on a 
Greek rice bowl. Can you imagine that? A Filipino wanting to eat rice? My, you're a delicious looking strawberry. Here's some history on chickens. It's the second most widely consumed meat in the world. The chickens in the US lay 50 billion eggs each year. It takes 1.9 pounds of feed for them to gain one pound of weight. The mothers actually talk to their chicks while they're in the shell. And they are presumed to be distant relatives of the dinosaur. First we've seen some pigs, then chickens. Now we're seeing some cows. Whoop. Oh, sit down and relax. Had a hard day, mister. A sanitizing walkthrough tunnel. The wave of the future is here, everybody. Oh, my poor little wifey. We found a noodle stand. She could have had that instead of rice. But then again, she's Filipina, she likes both. We are 777 Heaven. We can be found on both YouTube and Facebook. Introducing Circus Incredible. This here performing is Simon Aristov. This lady here, and you'll see, I believe, is her mother later, uh, from the world famous Walenda family.
They were so talented, but no offense to the acrobats, or the lumberjacks, or the cows, or chickens. But I think my favorite was the pigs. Me too. She went for a strawberry and cheese funnel cake instead of the strawberry shortcake. We're gonna share this. Hey, no, come back. So we're done with the strawberry festival. Uh, we had a good time. She really loved the circus. And right now she's gonna be enjoying that funnel cake going in her mouth because <laughs> that's what she does best. She likes to eat. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Peace out. The mouth of that clown is as big as my wife's mouth while she's shoveling funnel cake in it. Like, subscribe, click the bell please.